In the eastern heartlands of Ghana, a project is quietly unfolding, one that could change the economic, social and logistical face of an entire region, the Afram River Bridge. A 3.6 kilometre crossing planned to span the vast Afram River, this bridge is not just a feat of engineering, it's a symbol, a bold promise, and, for many residents of the Afram Plains, a long overdue answer to years of isolation, logistical nightmares and economic stagnation. This is not a new conversation. For decades, communities across the Afram Plains have called out, sometimes desperately, for improved infrastructure. The geography of the area, while rich with fertile land and agricultural potential, has made it one of Ghana's most disconnected regions. Movement of goods is slow. Access to education and healthcare is a challenge. Farmers, some of the best in the country, watch as their harvests rot in trucks or ferries delayed by weather, broken machinery or seasonal flooding. But the Afram River Bridge may change all of that. At 3.6 kilometres in length, the bridge is designed to directly connect the Afram Plains to the rest of the eastern region and beyond. According to government statements, it will be supported by an additional 100 kilometres of new and rehabilitated road networks, providing linkages to major routes such as Mpreso Obomeng and Kaufkau, Abuso Mpayem and Donkor Krom Adoso. That means smoother travel to market towns, schools, hospitals, and trading hubs across eastern and Ashanti regions. More than a bridge, this is a lifeline. The bridge is a central component of the Big Push initiative, a 10 billion Ghana CD infrastructure drive introduced to modernize Ghana's transport and development framework. Under the plan, key investments are being made in critical sectors, including transportation, education, and healthcare infrastructure. But while the plan may be national in scope, for the people of the Afram Plains, this project is deeply personal. Take Donkokrom, for instance. A key town in the Afram Plains North District, Donkokrom has long served as a central trading and social hub, but its growth has been stifled by unreliable road access and a ferry system that, in the words of one resident, runs on hope more than on fuel. School children often have to walk long distances just to find transportation, pregnant women sometimes can't make it to clinics in time, fresh food takes days to reach city markets, if it survives the journey at all. The Afram Bridge promises to slash travel time from Donkorkrom to Nkaukau from nearly seven hours in some cases to just under two. Emergency medical transport becomes viable. Daily commuting becomes possible. Trade opens up, not only across districts but across regions. The economic implications are massive. Afram Plains boasts some of the most fertile agricultural lands in Ghana. Yet for years, farmers have watched potential profits vanish due to the costs and delays associated with poor transportation. Tomatoes, onions, plantains, cassava all grow abundantly in the plains. But getting them to Kumasi or Accra in a profitable, fresh condition has been a losing battle. By connecting these farms to tarmac highways, the bridge and its supporting road networks will reduce transport costs attract investment in agro-processing, and potentially spark the kind of agribusiness revolution Ghana's rural economy needs. But this bridge isn't just about moving crops, it's about connecting people. In areas like Kwahu Tafo, Mapraiso and Abuso, residents have lived in a paradox for years. So close, yet so far. A trip that should take an hour can sometimes take a day, due to weather-induced road closures, broken down ferries, or impassable tracks. Teachers turn down postings, nurses transfer out, NGOs avoid investing in projects, even political campaigns often skip the interior of the plains due to poor access. This project then is as much about inclusion as it is about construction. It's about telling the people of Afram Plains that they are no longer on the periphery, that they matter, that their contribution to Ghana's agricultural economy is not being taken for granted. And more than that, it's about giving them the tools to grow, Yet, even with such promise, there is caution. Infrastructure announcements are not new in Ghanaian politics. Many still recall the abandoned Adaso Donkorkrom bridge proposals of previous administrations. Groundbreaking ceremonies held with no follow-up. Budget allocations announced with no disbursement. Designs completed that never left the drawing board. That is why when the latest announcement came, along with clear routes, figures and implementation schedules, it sparked not only excitement, but scepticism. Local opinion leaders in Donkorkram and beyond have urged the government not to let this become another political promise. 
they are calling for transparency, timely execution, and above all, sustainability. Roads must not only be built, but maintained. The bridge must not just connect, but endure. In recent updates, the government, through the Ministry of Roads and Highways, has confirmed that feasibility studies are already underway. Funding is reportedly being sourced through public-private partnerships and multilateral cooperation. While no official timeline has been published, sources close to the Eastern Regional Coordinating Council suggest that preparatory work could begin before the end of this year. The plan is part of a broader infrastructure expansion strategy targeted at underdeveloped corridors, particularly those with high agricultural potential. This also aligns with ECOWA's long-term infrastructure master plan, which Ghana has committed to supporting. The Afram River Bridge, if completed, could serve as a model for similar projects in other remote but economically viable regions across West Africa. It could also enhance Ghana's position in intra-regional trade under the AFCFTA, African Continental Free Trade Area, framework by easing the transport of goods from hinterland farming belts to coastal export hubs. It is, in many ways, a turning point, not just for transportation policy, but for development policy. For too long, development in Ghana has been urban-centric. Accra, Kumasi, Takaradi have received the lion's share of infrastructure investments. The Afram Bridge rebalances that narrative. It's a declaration that rural lives are just as valuable, that growth must be inclusive, that prosperity must not stop at the ferry terminal. Still, as with any major public works project, the devil is in the details. Will the bridge be built with durable materials to withstand the region's flood cycles? Will local labour be employed, injecting short-term jobs into the regional economy? Will smallholder farmers have access to the logistics chain once the bridge is completed? Or will large firms monopolise distribution networks? These are the questions that civil society groups are now raising, and rightly so. Transparency, community engagement and accountability will be key. The bridge must not be a white elephant. It must be a living artery, pulsing with life, trade and possibility. And so, the nation watches. Residents of the Afram Plains wait, not with folded arms, but with eyes wide open. They are hopeful, but this time they are also watchful. Because for them, the Afram Bridge isn't a campaign promise. It's not a ribbon-cutting opportunity. It's a matter of survival, a matter of dignity, a matter of finally being seen. And if done right, it will not just connect land to land. It will connect people to opportunity, children to schools, farmers to markets, patients to clinics, dreams to reality. That is the power of infrastructure. That is the promise of the Afram River Bridge. Let it be more than a plan. Let it be a legacy. Thanks for watching. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Stay tuned as we continue to uncover the stories behind Africa's transformation, one project at a time. See you in the next one.